Some firefighters and first responders who raced to the burning towers on 9-11 or sifted through the rubble in the aftermath suffer trauma to this day. CBS News chief medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook on a program that's helped nearly 20,000 responders and survivors. Firefighter Brian Bonsignor spent six months working recovery at Ground Zero. His GPS unit marked the exact location of victims' remains. You would come home at the end of the day and you have the smell of death on you. Uh, your shoes, your pores of your skin, your hair. Bonsignor developed asthma and PTSD. 9-11 anniversaries trigger those PTSD symptoms. You become very sharp with people. You become very distant with people. I dealt with it by dissociating myself from it, from TVs, newspaper events. And if, if you relive it, it just piles on and piles on and piles on and piles on. Dr. Sandra Lowe directs mental health services for the World Trade Center Health Program at Mount Sinai. Some individuals are actually having what we call their anniversary reactions earlier than usual. For some people, it's because this anniversary happens to be coming in the context of a pandemic. So it's a confluence of events. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some patients started isolating more uh, during the pandemic and having a really hard time actually uh, mobilizing themselves. This 20th anniversary, coming on the heels of the pandemic, is even triggering first-time mental health issues. We had eight new patients coming in, and all of them needed uh, psychiatric treatment. For you, the memories are so vivid, but do you think for some others that the memories are fading too quickly and that they don't really I appreciate? Think so. I think that it should be talked about, you know, what they did. They gave their life, not me. And honoring that sacrifice could be another path to healing. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.